But I can really see where this is going to be something pretty. Even that long arm up there. This is a load of cedar trees from Phil's place that um, he got for me. Thank you, Phil. He already delimbed them all except for that limb there, which is perfect because I think I can do something with that. I mean, look at these things. I mean, that's the size of my hand. I think that's the biggest one, but man, she's a beauty. Look at all the curves on her. I mean, all these deep grooves. This one's been down for a while, so the bark is actually kind of just falling off. So I'm out here just kind of helping it out a little bit with my chisel, just loosening the bark and pulling it off so it can dry. It's got a long ways to go, but uh, I think I can do something with these. Now this one has, see that hairy vine there? Hairy vines are scary vines. So I'm going to have to be real careful peeling the bark off of that. But gosh, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It's hard to tell right now, but I just started taking off some of the bark on this curve here. And just like I thought, it is going to be full of all of these curves. Now the bark is still on here. And it's hard to show you now because I don't want to dig too much. But... These are all grooves and all bends from the wood going with that branch. Just this section, my gosh, that's going to be gorgeous. Now that looks better already. And all I did was take off all of this uh, loose, damp bark that was on it. So when I'm about to give up because I'm tired, my back hurts, arms hurt, everything hurts, this is what re-energizes me. So underneath the bark of this curve is a whole bunch of grooves that go right into that log. That's what I'm looking for. It'll be kind of hard to see, but like underneath this piece, I'll just peel it right off. Underneath there are all those grooves that will end up looking beautiful. So this was the uh, one side of it, and then here's the other side. That's kind of pretty. So I'm standing up on the ladder here just to give you an idea. This will, um, these three right here, oh that fourth one, that's just a slice off of it. But these three red ones here sticking out, um, they're going to be front facing. But I'm going to go ahead and, and trim off that long one there, and uh, I'm going to leave that long one really long one on there because I think it's helping holding it up. Well, she looks much better with a little haircut. So I got all of these trimmed. And I trimmed up uh, only to about here because I'm not going to need that whole top. I'm going to save it. But I got all the rest of it cut. I also trimmed off these side ones. Got this one. And then uh, these two right here. So look at that. Wow. That's not even sanded or 
totally cleaned up. You know, I got all these grooves to get in, especially like in these dark ones here. But it's going to be out here in the summer here for probably, well, probably all summer long. I'm going to have it out here. So kind of a mess on the driveway. But you know what? That's a happy mess if you ask me. This is going to be a, a lengthy, lengthy process. But I uh, really think it'll be worth it in the end. All right, well, this is weekend two. So I have most of the outer bark off now, um, pretty much on the whole thing. And I'm only gonna be able to do about three quarters of it because I can't get completely underneath it. So once I get, you know, this whole top side and the edge is done, we'll flip it over. But I already started peeling off a lot of the bark that was on here. But I'm really excited about this. This is that arm that's on the side. And it just is filled with these beautiful natural grooves. You know, it may be a little hard to see. So I have actually been in here with uh, tiny chisels and my um, screwdrivers just to get into all these creases. Now I do have another tool that I use on barn wood that should help clean it out but yet keep all of these curves so i'm going to try that out today still not sure how long i want to keep it so that's why i'm hanging on to that yet but she is definitely uh getting a little bit closer so this is what i'm going to use it's called a restorer and i got this a few months ago for cleaning up barn wood because when I would use my orbital sander it would you know basically smooth out a lot of the grooves the natural grooves in the wood which I didn't like I wanted to keep some of those grooves uh, like especially in these logs from the old uh, smokehouse so I got this and I've used it a couple times I really like it um, it's super easy to to use comes with different kinds of wheels you just stick it in there and come on get in there it just snaps right in there and this is not a paid promotion I uh, I went ahead and just bought this on my own but I really do like it so the one that I'm using is a uh, I think it's the 180 grit because I don't want to go too too aggressive first but I do have an 80 grit which is um, a lot more aggressive and it's a nylon abrasive bristle wheel so I thought I'd show this to you first here because like I said it's a little too windy to talk while I'm doing it so let's see if it works So that is just with a 60 grit and really I just wanted to take a little bit off the top. I really don't want to smooth it down all the way and the reason is, uh, I mean look at all these insect tracks because this is a sapwood yet. So this is actually going to turn out more like my posts. So it's going to be white like that with then, I mean I just touched it but you'll see where the red's going to pop out um, with all these cut ends here now there are some gouges you know in the wood I'm going to sand them back you know smooth them out a little bit but you know it is rustic so off we go 
and I'm seeing that I need to um, get some more spray in. I'm going to order some of, uh, gosh, what's it called now? Boracare, I think it is, that they use for logs, for log homes. And, yeah, you guys are coming out right here. All right. I know where my next shot is.